Welcome to Club Wisdom 8. Take a look, Eternal Games. What does that mean? It can only mean one thing. It can only mean Eternal Saga is back in a different form. So we've had Eternal Saga, which I still play. So you can still find me in that. We also had Eternal Three Kingdoms. And remember, Eternal Saga is actually called Eternal Sword or whatever. And we had Eternal Three Kingdoms, a more serious version. And now let's just say we have Eternal Saga 3. How can we have 3 if come to us didn't release the game well come to us released the person who made the game the original creator of eternal saga and eternal three kingdoms was laid off at the beginning of 2024 and he has just produced this game let's take a look and let's see how it is let's see if it's worth um, moving into it i must say um eternal three kingdoms i, I just didn't enjoy moving into that type of game so maybe maybe this cute looking game might be more interesting let's find out okay okay it's in english which is interesting okay so uh, uh, uh yes you need to come to your senses okay it won't go any quicker i even remember getting hit by a truck Okay, so do you remember Eternal Saga? It's like Alus, it's like he lost his mind. It's like, <laughs> it seems, yeah, I'm out of my mind. It seems exactly the same. <laughs> my eyes are closing. Okay, so don't tell me this person's going to wake up. Okay, in the middle of rabbits. Okay, so waking up in the middle of nowhere. Oh, what the, where am I? Don't tell me this person has amnesia. Let's take a look. Where am I? Yes. What is this cartoonish situation? It's exactly the same as Eternal Saga. That's interesting. So let's see what happens. Ta -da, ta -da -da. First, we have to deal with the monsters we see in front of us. Okay. Now, that is a quicker move. And that is a nice counter bubble thing. Okay, so let's see. We click on that. Good job. Try using it by pressing it to the ground. Okay, that's a nicer move than Eternal Saga. Um, the graphics are... Um, how do I put it? They're not as good as Eternal Saga. But um, let's hope the gameplay can make up for it. Okay, so what was that shaking just now? Is it an earthquake? Okay, let's see. I, I do like... I do prefer these bubbles. And... I mean, the fonts are okay. It, But... um. I mean, it, it might be a step back in one respect from Eternal Saga. Hey, wake up. Uh, what are these? Come to your senses. Let's deal with it. Okay, so there's some other guy getting beaten up. Slime attacking me. Um, honestly, if you're going to play like Eternal Saga or whatever, you're not really going to care about the graphics to begin with. So, yeah, okay, let's sweep it away. How, if we join forces, what, is there a combo move? No. Oh, I, I don't know if that was a combo move. I don't think so. But look, that power that power increases down there the ground shaking it shook to is there someone else here okay so everyone's just being beaten up lying down hey wake up we're gonna save you okie dokie why does it okay touch where the enemy is to use a skill okay so what are you gonna do okay so it's just a magician um actually the heroes do look bigger so will they actually get smaller okay where am i what are these slimes where am i okay so let's get out of here quickly and they even have some skulls to come with them okay so when you transcend a hero grade character you can increase the target's unique skill to a maximum of six okay now i can take a breather let's get some comrades to fight okay okay oh god and they have a video to watch oh so I don't really want to watch adverts later, but let's see. What have we got? Okay, so I don't know why they're all gold. I don't I guess gold isn't the best, but hey, got King Slime and none of these none of these look like a special hero of any sort, I guess, but we'll find out later. Okay, oh, look, look, okay, summon, okay, uh, what's the advert then? Seriously? Why do I say, why do I say seriously? Because, um, because this, uh, because there's no come to us, there's no other company. I didn't know that if you make a game by yourself, you will, you can still advertise other companies' games, etc, etc. I didn't know. So, um, 
because the person who left Eternal Saga, he um, the person who left Eternal Saga, let's just say that he, I didn't expect that he would be able to collaborate and do other things by himself. So this is even even this is quite interesting. Okay, so what do I get? Hmm. I wonder if like Eternal Saga I can like pay to have um you know to take out adverts I don't like adverts I hate adverts don't like waiting 30 seconds okay so there's a lot of fragments mm, fair enough there sh there is a there's also a coupon code let's try the coupon code skip okay I'm confused. I can't get out of it. Seriously? Okay, so I guess she's the one everyone wants. Yeah, but even if everyone wants her, how do I... How do I get out? Oh, like that. Um, It's my fault. That's my fault. Okay, time to fight. No, it's not time to fight. Let me try my coupon codes. Not yet. Actually, that's quite good that I can summon so quickly. But who knows? Maybe... um. Oh, okay. Um, just because you summon all comrades, let's choose the comrades to fight here. Team formation. Okay, this is where you choose your formation. Are you So, look at that. 5, 10, 25. You can have 25 in a group. So, that's why I didn't like Eternal Three Kingdoms. I felt, I think the groups were bigger. And this is bigger than Eternal Saga. I think Eternal Saga is it? It's 20 per group. Now, this is 25. So, my guess is that there's going to be three groups. And so you're gonna be able, you're gonna need seventy five heroes. So it's fifteen more than Eternal Saga, but it's less than Eternal Three Kingdoms. So not as greedy as Eternal Three Kingdoms will turn out to be. All right. So all my yeah. So all my little minions. Okay. Let's have an exciting battle. Okay. Let's see what happens. So it seems like these little these little things, these little snails. They're pretty. Nothing, nothing special. Let's put it this way. Um. But it is interesting. <laughs> why, why have, why have all these weird animals on my team? Why can't it just be heroes? <laughs> it's unusual. Okay, so you can go. So I'm in auto mode, which is interesting. Yeah, really. I think these heroes are the special ones. And how come the heroes go up and not the others? That's weird. So, oh, okay, they all go up, but, okay, so they're soldiers, I see. Okay, so soldiers, okay, are different to the heroes. Okay, the soldiers are cute then. I, I like that. I, I, I like that they're soldiers, and maybe they'll be good. In, But heroes, we need heroes. So how am I going to get, how am I going to get more heroes? Let's try this coupon code out. And do I get, okay, so... The content mode where you progress. Okay, do I get any gems for completing that? And at the last stage, there's a boss. Okay, it allows you to move on. And then you grow. Yeah, I get it. And then while meeting certain conditions, you can collect stars to obtain additional rewards. Okay, but do I get any gems for doing this? Okay, so it must be unspoken rule. There are people fighting. Okay, but do I get gems? Let's move on to the next stage. Okay, so I got a check-in reward, but do I get gems? All right. Uh, system. System eight. Done. Okay. Did so I didn't get gems for that. So you only get gems for going through that. Ooh, I don't. Oh, really? Really? No gems? Let me have a look at that. Okay, so it shows the kind of different rewards you can get there. Um, and you can skip, called a wipeout. But no gems, no extra gems. My gems are on zero. That's dangerous. This game is going to be a dangerous game. All right, let's see. Where is the coupon code? Mm. 
delete account this is not working out very well is it where's the coupon code I, I remember the coupon code but how do I put it in oh thank god all right coupon code oh it's in Korean that's weird um, it's zero nine zero five because that's the release date what okay is it the opposite way zero five zero nine Uh oh. September the 5th. Nah. Nah, it can't be. It can't be. 0905. Um. What, what else can it be? It, it can't. It's, there's nothing else. Okay, you guys got to hold on a bit. Is it that the... Is it is it that something's broken? I, I'm just doing a double check. Give me one... Give me one moment to double check. Um, did the coupon code work? Yeah, I'm asking others. That's really weird. I'm guessing there's really something wrong with the server on their end or something. Yeah, it's, I think it's a server problem. What else could be wrong? Zero nine. Zero nine five. How else can you do that? Ninety five. I, I can't. I'll be here forever. Um. Why do I just feel just put a hundred? Who knows? No, nope, give up. I, I think the server's down. Change server. Oh. Seriously. Oh, dumbass. <laughs> I thought. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. I, I. I. Yeah. My fault. Okay. So I'm in the Korean server, but okay. Everyone can play in the Korean server though, so it's pretty unusual. Okay. So I cannot get those extra gems. That's really a shame. Mm, I'm not sure why. Let's see if we can ask the cafe for help. Can we go to the cafe from here? Nice. All right. So, so my guess is that someone's saying, "Why doesn't?" Oh, not this crap again. Hate. I hate Nava. Stupid Nava. Yeah. There you go. Oh, it's called Open Zero Nine Zero Five. Oh, 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 okay, good. Let's, um, oops. Let's find out how to get in the game. Back in. I don't want to clear it. How do I get in? Oh, I'm so happy. That's, that's fixed everything. All right. Open. Open. Zero nine zero five. Zero nine zero five. All right. Nice. Okay, let's do some summoning. Can I do it again? <laughs> Imagine I could keep doing it again. Sorry. I'm so bad. Okay, where's summon? Hmm. Back. Back. Nice. Give me summon and let's have a look at the shop in a moment. Alright, let's see. I want a hero. I'm getting grey and bears. Oh, I remember now. What an idiot I am. Let's rate up summon. Okay, so if you're gonna... If you're gonna um, re-roll then I'm my pr my presumption is you probably want to come back for her all right let's see can I get her then um no yes no Dyer's memory frag fragment okay so no not looking good not looking good at all hmm okay got it so right now oh I can I can summon more Normal summon. It, it, th there's a star there or something. No, I can't. I can't do anything. Until the hero is confirmed to be summoned. Victory 79. Okay, so there's some kind of pity, which is nice. Um, there's a season pass. Let's have a look at it while we're here. Okay. Okay, so is it a kind season pass? It can go up to 40. 380 NT in Taiwan. That's 10 pounds. 
ten pounds. Okay, so. Hmm. All right. Fair. Fair. I. I. All right. Um. I guess that's okay. How much is it internal? So I guess it's okay in some respects. Let's see what you get. Where I tell you something very weird, like oh, I was gonna yeah, past rewards. I was gonna say like the normal rewards. I was like, where are the gems? Where are the gems? Where are the gems? But let's see. I guess let's look at the bottom. So one fifty gems, two hundred gems. Gems really do seem to be hard to get in this game. Not like Eternal Saga, two hundred. 250 300 so okay so it goes over a thousand gems it goes okay so it goes to far more um okay so you can buy a monthly pass i'm not sure if it will work on mine oh there are daily quests as well okay let's see how the dailies are how am i doing what happens if i clear every single daily quest anything play an arena okay um, complete the daily three times okay complete the daily mission okay yeah but what am I getting what are my rewards <laughs> uh, oh so just these stars is that it a token that can be used to level up the season pass that's your reward for daily quest mm, not sure about that really seriously so there's nothing Okay, so there's no actual reward for um, that. Okay, maybe that will change in the future. I, I, I don't. And the season quest. Okay. Um, it's unusual to see this kind of reward. Because what happens... So, let's look at the season pass, okay? No, no. No, I don't want to buy it. But... But, um... What I what I want to what I want to say is that when when your season pass points reach the top level, what happens after? What happens after level forty? So, I mean, is that it? So I guess there's a lot to improve in this game. It's like if if you really get the top points here, like what happens next? Uh, that kind of thing this is a new game so i think that this will these things will change because i know the gm the game master for this game and he's not the kind of guy to allow that to stay like that so it's just because the game's new that's all okay so let's have a look can i actually change my account okay just for those guys let's see what kind of heroes do we have i i know i, I really want to see what can happen here so so there are two types of characters, hero grade characters and monster grade. Yeah, I get that. Hero grade characters can use unique skills. Okay. Okay, so it's this kind of elemental. Um, okay. So characters are divided into six attributes. Okay, fire, water, nature, light, darkness, and nothing. And each attribute increases the amount of damage given when attacking with its compatible attribute. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we have different jobs and different classes. Okay, so the character's occupations are warrior, ranger, and wizard. Okay, that makes it quite easy at the moment to have just that. But, okay, I like how simple it is. That will keep it easy for now. Okay, so so what's that? The Yeah, rangers have low health. Okay, and then, yeah, overall warriors have high health but short attack. And wizards have low health but long range and are responsible for the team's rear line with long range magic attacks yes some special wizards perform melee magic attacks or melee magic attacks from the front line of the team hmm seems that wizards might be might have something interesting to give all characters have a gender and race <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the gender yeah they have a non a non gender or something so and race gender and race affect team composition and the use of certain skills even the gender has an impact on the skills interesting what is that you turn into a cat okay so the skills are a bit different okay let's have a look at this okay of course how, how do you know which hero is good because this cat looks so cool um let's have a look and how come we're starting off with 
like some dark kind of units and one water normally you start off with like fire and leaf like pokemon or something so i don't know what's going on there and there are not many characters which makes or not many heroes which makes this game a bit more fun i guess but okay so there are fragments are you telling me that you're not okay so what i'm what i'm feeling here is that you can't pull the whole hero in one turn like in the summon is that right so like like if i can't pull the whole hero i have to pull fragments of them like like i have to pull i have to do 10 summon uh, five summons to get this cat is that right now that is um that is really difficult and i guess this is um this must be some major joke character, King Kim Bong Min. <laughs> I don't know. It, I, it, this probably, this probably could be the the GM of the game for all I know. Anyway, or someone who gave this company a lot of money and they got to be in it. Frey. Uh, okay. So anyway, interesting, interesting choices, James. Nothing um. Nothing out of the ordinary, but the cat is cool batch fragment yeah it's i really want to know can i summon yeah or i mean what's the rate up summon rate let's have a look at this normal summon let's go here let's see is it fragments okay pick up the hero holy cow it's 1.25 percent that is scary okay the a normal a pickup hero 1.25 the the hero to 1.25 so to get and and that's why i got the hero shard which was 17.5 and even getting the hero shard i must say that's like a one out of five chance so overall you're only in a 2.5 percent chance to get the hero full stop or otherwise you have to get five hero shards that's quite um that's quite worrying that's really um this game is really, really difficult with summons. And and not only is this game difficult with the summons. Yeah, not not only not only is this game difficult with getting the heroes, this game doesn't seem very open to giving you many gems. I can tell you this game is um This game is gonna cost people a lot of a lot of money. I, I think um, if you're if you're not patient, you're gonna spend a lot. Wow! So that's gonna be um, it's gonna be interesting, I must say. Uh, yeah. So that will have some impact over whether I'll keep playing it. And yeah. So if you do a purchase two times, you you can have two times what? Two times bonus payment. So how much? during the first event first purchase of diamond products so if you if you purchase any of these gems then the first time they'll pay you double now seriously then that means okay that means people are going to so anyone who wants to take the game seriously they're going to put in a lot of money and they're probably going to instead of buying 14,000 diamonds they're going to buy like 28 like that's um I see that's an interesting first um <laughs> first buying reward and and to put it until only like the 12th of September that's that's pretty heavy. That's pretty heavy, I must say. I'm not um I'm not used to seeing that. That's quite um That's quite crazy, I must admit. Uh will I pay for it if I decide I like this game? I I might pay for it because I've really enjoyed Eternal Saga and um yeah, I'm really happy. I'm I'm really I've been really happy with that game and if those gems will last me for ages then that's fine. But um, I don't know. 
no, I don't know. In general, it, it, it doesn't really matter whether I buy it or not, to be honest. Um, I just normally when I play this type of game, I just pay money to benefit the the person who made the game. And I'm really, yeah, I've been really happy with what he has created so far. And my guess is that he would stay with this game. He's not going to leave this game. So I, mm, what you're paying for is a game that could last you for years and years from now. And so that's quite a low price. Okay, so 55 character summon tickets, 55 equipment item boxes. Um compensation paid account level benefits i don't know what compensation paid means purchase limit i i don't so i'm guessing that it's some kind of pyramid thing and yeah you can just keep paying as you go as you as you go up a certain as you go to certain levels you can keep buying these one time and you know get some get some better discount um yeah there's but but there is a lot to buy and um and that is kind of off-putting in itself yeah so there's a hell of a lot to buy hmm something anyway something to think about if you really want to play this game for the long term but okay so 1200 percent oh what gets me okay they have monthly benefit packs okay so monthly benefit pack but you can't pay in diamond even you can't buy, pay for it in gems or diamonds or whatever you call it but you can only pay in cash that's quite um it's quite heavy but if i was to buy it if i was to pay hmm 17 so this is you get it per weekly limit you get it per day though right for logging in every day right stage clearance tickets diamonds 100 and the bread um character summon tickets 10 hmm that's quite nice uh but it says this one is the best deal they get 1200 percent diamond 750 yeah daily yeah it's it's very tempting to have 700%, 1200%. There's a lot of there's a lot of things here. What there are skins as well. Okay, so that that so do the skins give you extra abilities like in Eternal Saga? Yeah, you do. But at least the good side is that it's only a plus 10, nothing else. So I think okay, fair. Fair enough. But the problem is the skin tickets seem to be something extra. How would you buy it? skin exchange ticket one so one gem so what what we're looking at here is five thousand gems i must be right yeah skin exchange for one ticket because yeah it's one of those right yeah one just one that's not the whole ticket so so you have to spend 50 times 100 you have to spend 5,000 just to get that that's that's high that's a lot of money anyway um at least there's only two but but there's a lot of gems needed there yeah yeah 5,000 that's that that kind of to me that's a lot of gems i don't know what you guys think but um hmm, okay but there are only two skins so fair what's the, yeah can we get rid of ads <laughs> If you wanna okay if you want gold you have to view an ad can we get rid of ads if i want ap i have to view an ad if i want an equipment box ad there's loads of ads can i get rid of ads <laughs> can i get rid of ads or not uh i i that okay what's this action pack okay so you can have another pack of bread re recharge currency achievement benefits we've done monthly benefits we've done god there's just so much a launch special i haven't seen this ad remover pack okay free once a day okay so that's the best pack ever so if you're gonna 
choose the account to stick with then yeah you're gonna buy that but there's so much to buy that seems actually quite interesting to buy and so that means that's a lot of money and that's kind of scary that really is scary um, character general draw pack okay so there's a lot of things there's a lot of things to buy here and why as if the game gets dumped I, I don't think it will but I mean yeah I mean if, if everyone just spends their money at the beginning and then no one spends their money later then what's gonna happen hmm surprise pack goodness yeah we saw this I saw this earlier with you guys I think but phew, this is mad it's just it's just so ma many things to buy this is this is beyond I, I can't even um yeah I can't I can't begin to get used to so many things in the shop that's um that's a killer anyway uh, let's apart from that I guess we can only go forward and then you go to the arena and then the dungeon guild raid is preparing content so eventually we'll have to join a guild I mean all right I guess we can continue and see what happens but seeing all the shops seeing everything on offer it's it's interesting all right so let's have a look again it's it's all on auto it's going to go through this game quite quick it shows where the end is quite simply it's a lot more simple than um oh i see i can open up i can bring this back i can bring it out it, it, it's, it's it looks a lot more simple than eternal saga eh what what happened <laughs> okay so that just zooms straight in there that was um interesting okay um so can this game have a uh, next thing is farming so how how do you farm in this game can i uh like can i leave do i leave my computer on what a little slime it's so cute okay let's keep going so let's see can i auto farm it what's wipe out okay so wipe out one bread and one ticket no i can't okay wipe out attempts okay can i just leave the game to farm let's take a look how quick do the breads actually come back anyway let's have a look okay repeated battle there we go enable repeated battle restart when you lose a battle mm -hmm. battle waiting time wow that's a nice improvement um eternal saga could have done with that if infinite repeat fair enough attempts infinite okay that is pretty cool okay so the farming is good, but again, you have to leave your computer on. Mm. Auto, auto purchase AP. Okay, that's nice. So, how much is it? So, one, one, one farm costs five bread. How many, how much bread can I auto purchase and how many gems would it cost? Let's have a look. That's, I think that's important for me so these are the things that are gonna really like be the the deal breakers between sticking in this game or not so 120 okay how many gems a hundred that's a lot and there's a limit hmm but a hundred is a lot a hundred gems hmm that is um uh, sorry that's that shocked me because um in eternal saga right one one farm one one farm costs between two to four uh let's say bread two to four bread and yeah it's 120 per every time you buy every time you buy the bread but you use less bread uh, farm and the next point is is that it only costs 40 gems 40 gems each time you buy the 120 so it seems you're getting more value for your money a lot more even more than double in eternal saga so the only way to make it seem like this could be worth it is if what you get for farming is much more better so the question is what do you get for farming that a shot a 
a weapon strengthening stone okay a material an armor enhancing stone gear gear different gear epic gear really epic gear from this level that's interesting what else and what is the highest gear there's a lot of questions here hmm I'm not sure I, I'm not 100% sure about about whether what you're getting is worth it so there's a lot there's a lot of questions so I could just keep continuing but I honestly don't think it's worth what's more important is to figure out is this game really worth investing in or not what's a special attendance book okay so I have attended day one and I've been given something extra so an opening celebration okay that's nice so character season tickets okay we need to have a look at that that's cool that's kind and it will last for 24 days mission accomplished event okay recruit character so there's and how long will this event last for seven days but it's a 13 day thing so after that it might disappear wait a second something wrong oh we're in day two already wow okay okay so i see so it skipped day two okay i i, I skipped okay hmm so there are some extra events for the free to play but not very it, it's, it's not going to be easy for a free to play i so what i will do i'll be talking to the other people who play eternal saga and see how they feel the guide quest okay so there's things here but this is going to be difficult but there are not many heroes <sighs> all right inventory let's have a look each character can wear one type of weapon five types of armor okay three types of accessories it's a lot of accessories um among okay so depending on the occupation okay something different will be worn um among the defensive equipment the type of helmet armor and shoes that can be worn depend on the the role and and there's equipment and belt it, it seems that there's so much for different people here okay so and those must be the best weapons because they were expensive you could buy them before when strengthening equipment it will not fail until plus 10 okay mm. what wait a minute it will not fail until plus 10 and okay so equipment strengthening goes to what level plus 11 how far can what's the highest level of equipment strengthening in in you mean from plus one 21 enchant in in enhancement of equipment you can no longer use equipment protection stone so equipment so so what we're saying is the equipment goes beyond level 20 that is um wow wow that is um a lot of uh gambling here hmm now I see why people will want the buy one, get one free on the gems. This is going to be a difficult one with the amount of money involved. Like a free to play will be stuck on this game forever. And what happens if you upgrade a gear and then a new type of gear comes out? I'm sure the GM will fix that. And like in, in terms of fix that, he'll make something that you can change your gear perhaps to another type of gear. But anyway something yeah something not easy let's so can i car so can i summon can i go back to summoning now with those tickets yes i can oh but only gems for this <sighs> all right uh normal summon actually that is something on my mind uh what's the what's the rate of a hero 2.5% for a normal summon and you can still summon daily and you get one summon fair okay that, that's something all right okay let's have a look hmm interesting so i guess it'll be a rainbow color or something if i was to get a get a hero not enough diamonds okay 
Oh, I wouldn't have noticed that actually. All right, so that's that's done. Again, um, yeah, the the answers here are really in the inventory. Like, can I see this enhancement? Can I can I get an idea of the highest level? Items will not be destroyed. Okay, during the current stage, during the current strengthening stage, enhance. No, okay. Yeah, I, I can't see how high everything can go to from here. There might be a special place where I can look into that. I wonder, is there, so character inventory, character. Okay, not, not too much info. Oh, oh, okay, those. And forgetting the new, every time you get something new, normally shouldn't they like give you something? All right, let's, let's, can I promote this guy then? Because, imprint, okay, so there seems to be some interesting customization. Anyway, let's have a look at this. That's a lot. Okay, HP, okay, attribute assignment, okay, wow. Okay, so there's a lot of, um, <laughs> wow, DOT damage resistance rate, crit damage, melee okay this is wow the evasion it ranged magic penetration <sighs> yeah crit resistance but then there's the crit resistance rate this movement speed attack range yeah dark enhancement there is a lot of stats or oh, there are a lot of stats this is um Mm, this is this is like eternal saga at the end and to start off with so many stats is um that's nuts i mean this game is this game is already this game has so many stats i don't know if people can really afford to, to i mean i think this could be a wales game fair enough i mean it already has a yeah, it, it it does have, it has an arena. It has an arena that will be ready once I get to a certain place. It even has a Tower of Despair. Um, that's going to make some people in my guild really happy. So, and I guess you're going to get loads of little bonuses for just doing all these things. Hmm. So, it's a difficult one to know if I'm going to continue playing the game. I think I, I think again, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to ask the people in my guild and then continue and then, and then consider what I'll do. And five, I think I have a feeling that five bread and paying 100 gems let, in fact, the, the next thing is how much is a hundred gems in general? If so, let's, let's think, you want to do a lot of farming. How much does a hundred gems cost? Like, how much would I be paying for that? Where's the shop? Let's say I, I want to buy some gems. for 300 so a hundred gems okay so 30 a hundred gems is like what 20 25 point something so 25 point three three or something like that and um hmm, 25 point three three so that's like a dollar nearly a dollar nearly a US dollar for a hundred gems a hundred gems for f 120 breads Hmm, interesting. And then I guess if you're buying this, then your your gem cost will be at least, well, at least it will be half the amount. I'm getting a calculator out. I just want to double check. I want to check this because I have a feeling a lot of people are going to end up buying that. So... 14,000 gems. 
let me make a calculation let's just say in fact I'll do the calculation later but but either way if it's if you're getting buy one get one free then at least at least it's gonna be like half a dollar for 50 cents for bread and then the bread becomes I guess more worth it only if you buy that that deal I guess hmm so it's a whale's paradise this game <laughs> and what happens if you keep using everything up and how yeah okay so what about to enter the arena unlimited okay 20 it's I don't know that seems like a all right price when you consider how much it costs to buy the bread okay let's see what you can get in the guild wipeout tickets 10 hero tickets it seems nothing too amazing nothing too amazing it's just about getting that bread a lot of it is very similar to eternal saga Oh, you can already have a friendship with the points. That's interesting as well. And what? You can get gold. So not gems. Gold. Okay. I forgot about gold. And then... Mm, okay. So daily limit of two breads. A daily limit of gold. Stage wipeout ticket. That's interesting that the stage wipeout ticket you can get daily. That's That's quite crazy. I like to see how many friends can you have in this game. So so lots and lots of questions here. A gear ticket, a weekly limit, okay. So there's really a lot of there's a really there's a there's I think some of these some of these things that you can get is actually quite good. So again I'm gonna need to get back to you on that. But so far I'm 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 in two directions. It's like, is this game quite like stingy with the gems or is it a fair game for a free to play player? How is this game for free to play? Um, this is one I don't know. However, do I, would I like to play the game? Yeah, I'm, I'm interested in playing it. I'm interested to see where it goes. Are the graphics better than Eternal Saga? No, no, they're not. So is it better to stay with Eternal Saga or also or play this game too? A lot of things. I think for me it's going to depend on my guild. Do my guild want to continue to play this game? Like it, I think a lot of things really do depend. And this is a new game and it's got English. So it might be, um, it, it could be quite interesting to just continue. But I'm 50-50 on it at the moment. I hope that helps. So Club Wisdom 8 over and out.